UC Irvine. They trail Cal State Fullerton by 10 as we play the Big West Championship game. Take a look at how we got here. UC Irvine knocking off the top-seeded Gauchos of Santa Barbara in the semis, while Fullerton, they knocked off the number two seed, Cal State Northridge, yesterday to get to the championship game. This is what is at stake. UC Irvine, they have never won the Big West Championship. They have never gone to the NCAA Tournament. Cal State Fullerton, they've been once. That was 30 years ago. Alongside David Kaplan, I'm Eric Collins. And Kaplan, let's get right down to it and talk about that first half for Fullerton. They shoot 53% as a team. They really didn't do much wrong. No, they were able to do everything they wanted at their pace, at their speed. When they got a rebound, they were able to push the tempo. Defensively, they were able to force Irvine into some really tough shots. So everything is playing the way Fullerton wants it. They want the game in the 70s or higher, and that's where it's headed. Yeah, in case you missed any of us, take a look at the first half highlights. Fullerton came out as if their hair was on fire. Well, Fullerton was able right here. You see Reed make a great move. Switches directions like a running back. Here's Cutley, the conference's co-player of the year. Pulls his way to the basket. There's Josh Akoyan knocking down a couple of long-distance jumpers. And then that was off an offensive rebound for a stick back. Akoyan's had a whale of a first half. Let's take a look at our Guinness first half stats. And that shooting percentage for Fullerton just jumps off the page at you. 14 for 26, 53%. Right, same number of shots, but 14 out of 26, and they've done a real good job at dominating the glass. They have an eight-rebound lead, and we have only three combined offensive rebounds in the entire first half, and last night, in one of the games, we had zero. So not a lot going on in terms of stickbacks. There is Coach Burton. Fifth year working the sidelines for Cal State Fullerton, hoping against hope that he can take the Titans to the dance for the first time since 1978. He's matching wits with that man, Pat Douglas, now in his 11th season with the Anteaters, the most wins ever in school history on his watch. And two different styles because Pat Douglas says, I always think we're gonna go out and win Bob Burton today. And the paper says, I always think we're gonna lose. Fullerton played Irvine twice during the regular season and won both games handily. Inside, Frank Robinson had to curl off the front of the iron. Rebound, Darren Fell. Well, first three or four minutes, huge for Irvine. They're trying to win four games in four days. That is a huge task. Three and three days for Fullerton. But Irvine down 10, they need to get right back in the game and quick. Off the dribble, the freshman walk-on, Patrick Rembert, is going to be called for the charge. That's his second charge on the left side of the basket where he's more comfortable trying to knight through defenders. Fullerton rotates over, takes the hit, and we go the other way. The Titans, they want to play a game in the 80s. They love to get after it up and down the floor. Northridge, they're happy if the game, sorry, Irvine, they're happy if the game is in the 50s. Cutley, co-Big West player of the year, gets the rebound and dribbles it back out. Now gets it over to Robinson. And Frank Robinson, using that left hand, comes up short. Rebound snatched down by Hunter. Hunter, their best perimeter shooter for the Anteaters. We saw him the other night, 90 seconds. He buried three from way downtown. They need him to start getting some looks. He has not gotten many shot opportunities. McIntosh loses the handle and backs it back out. Patrick Sanders off the window, too strong. Loose ball finally corralled by Ray Reed. That's a tough shot. I mean, he's looking for the foul there, but that is a very tough shot to complete. Reed gets in easily into the paint and makes it rim glass ribbon in. Well, see there, they showed double. They sent Rembert down to lightly double the low post when Cutley had it. Reed attacked the rim then they got him the ball back with a real nice pass and he had an easy shot bells from outside that's a rarity the big fella stepping up saying i'm gonna make these he had only taken 12 threes coming into this game that's how you get right back in it what had been a 13 point lead for fullerton whittled down to nine Cutley backing in, using that good body. Double clutches, comes up short, but cleaning up the mess is Morgan. Morgan is their second defender inside. He's been given the task of Sanders. 
doesn't score a ton, but he's very physical, and there he was in the right place at the right time. Morgan averages six points and six rebounds. He's got exactly that right now. Bell's really fighting down low. He wants the ball. They squeeze it to him, working against Cutley. Jump shot. Rims out for Hunter. Offensive rebound. Fells. Whistle, and he'll go to the... Oh! Offensive foul! And he is not happy at all. He feels it's a terrible call, as does Pat Douglas. There are two big bodies banging down there. Now, there's the contact. I mean, you lower the shoulder, but there may have been one whale of an acting job on top of it. That's 500 pounds of humanity going at it down there between Cutley and Fells. Cutley sets the screen. Reed uses it, gets inside, and he's whacked by Sanders. Well, you take a look. Here's a better angle at the call. I mean, when you lower your body at all, you're going to get the call against you. Official standing right there, but Cutley's a veteran. He knows what to do. You hit the deck as hard as you can. So Ray Reed, the senior from L.A. at the free throw line. Cutley really not showing him any effects of a back injury he suffered versus Santa Barbara February the 7th. He re-aggravated it in practice. His mobility, affected. His production, not affected. There's a Cutley. Good, good look at both of them. Fells and Cutley. Fells, a guy who they went on a team retreat before the season started. They called it a team bonding experience. Well, it wasn't exactly that. Fells and Coach Burton had a run-in. Fells left the team, did not play for the first two games, met with a professor he's close to on campus, some friends, came back and said, you guys are right, my commitment hasn't been where it needs to be. You'll have no more issues with me. And they said he's been the best leader on the team ever since. The second team, all Big West performer, and this time, he gets the foul called. And it's going to go against Cutley, his second. As you said, Fells has a brother playing tight end for the Atlantic Falcons, and he was heavily recruited as a football player, and he said, you know, I, I like to hit people, but I want to be a basketball player. Lead back down to 10. Fullerton. They haven't been to the NCAA tournament since 1978. Irvine, they've never been. Robinson has the ball, working against Sanders. Over to Cutley. Hand off. Morgan. Beautiful interior passing. Outstanding job because Cutley knows he's going to draw the defensive attention and Morgan knows where he's supposed to be. Get right to the basket. Interior pass for an easy layup. Land has the ball stripped away. Out of bounds. Who's it going to go? It's going to stay with the Anteaters. Good hustle. Kevin Bland to keep the ball with UC Irvine. Cutley inside working with his running mate Morgan and it is now a 12-point lead for the Titans. ABC, your NBA Sunday destination. Breakers ice cubes. Wow. Uh, ice cubes gum. Frosted cubes so surprisingly cold. Beware of the spontaneous. Whoa. Single again. With gray hair. How am I going to start over? Just for men targets. Only the gray. In five easy minutes. Dating again? It's easier than I thought. Show them what you've got. 
Stay in the game with Just for Men. Look at them. You give them the best years of your life, shuttling them around. Then they go away on one vacation without you. And all they can talk about is that Hummer from Avis. I'd like to see that Hummer have to take them to the stupid mall three times a day. Actually, I take that back. With dozens of the hottest cars to choose from, there's a reason Avis is your other car. Luxury and performance that move to a whole new beat. Yours, the Acura TSX. Acura, advance. Take advantage of attractive lease rates on the 2008 Acura TSX for well-qualified customers. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. And in part by Plug In, the first ultra-adaptable room from Marriott. Fireworks over at Disneyland, just across the street from the Anaheim Convention Center. And inside this building, it is Cal State Fullerton making their own fireworks. Up by 12, 15 minutes and change away from going to the big dance. This is what has gone on in the Big West Championship so far this week. The number one seed, the Gauchos of UC Santa Barbara, ousted by Irvine. The number two seed, the Matadors of Northridge, ousted by Fullerton. And so we have two schools capped trying to go someplace where they've rarely been. You see Irvine never have they gone to the big dance, while Fullerton's only gone once. Right, Irvine's been close, never got there, and Fullerton, 1978, 30 years ago, trying to repeat that and get back. And look at this. How do you, are you surprised at this? Normally you think of the big guys like Fells and, and, his, and his running mate up front, Kevin Bland. You think they're going to get a lot of inside points, but not so much today. No, because Fullerton has had great success pushing the tempo and taking the ball inside, getting a lot of layups and a few stickbacks. That'll qualify as a point in the paint. Michael Hunter with a floater. Reed with a hesitation dribble, gets it over to Frank Robinson. Long three, no. Rebound, fell. Chance to get it into single digits. Fullerton, a team that had for years struggled to play away from home. Prior to Bob Burton's arrival, 30 and 115 on the road or neutral sites in 10 years. Since he came, 38 and 30. Time to make it two in a row. Hunter comes up short. Kev, what do you read into the fact that, that Fullerton played Irvine twice during the regular year and won both games handily? Is that still an issue? I think it gives them real good confidence, and I think they feel if they play their game, they should win. Reed gets inside and banks it home. For Irvine, they're playing a number of factors. Four games in four days, decided underdog, and they've lost twice to them by pretty good margin. Have you noticed the Anteaters playing differently than what we saw yesterday in the semis? Do they still have their legs? I think they do have their legs. They're just not getting some opportunities where Santa Barbara missed a number of easy shots, and it gave them chances to run out and get some baskets. They're not getting that tonight. Bells turns and powers it home. He's so tough. Turns the same way 95% of the time. You just can't stop him because he's six, seven and a half, and he's very mobile. And there's something about left-handed post players. Jump shot, a coin, no. Cutley picks up the offensive rebound oh. before the shot. Nope, we're going to have a foul underneath. It's against Sanders. ESPN's coverage of championship week continues Sunday afternoon with two more championship games. First at 1 Eastern time, it's the ACC championship. Clemson against North Carolina. Then at 3 Eastern, Texas and Kansas in the Phillips 66 Big 12 championship. Both games part of championship week presented by Dick's Sporting Goods on ESPN Sunday. Tough call there. I thought that one. Pat Douglas did not like the call. He thought it was a charge. Marcus Crenshaw off the bench. He's got the ball. Gets inside. Lefty jumper. Cutley. No. Bland taps it up. And finally, Cutley powers it home again. 
Right place at the right time, but tip your cap to Robinson, who got a hand up there and kept it alive. Lead back up to 12. Largest lead of the game for Fullerton, 13. That was right before the first half came to a close. Good, solid defense out of Cutley. He four spells just a hair farther out than he wanted. Did not allow him to make a move. And the shot came up just short. Cap, when is it danger time for Irvine? Well, I think it's, you're, you're getting there. Probably at the 10-minute mark. Cutley, two in a row. Yeah, you look up, you're 14 down, and that's when you start to feel a little bit more tired playing four games in four days. They've got to rally the troops, and they've got to do it quick. Yeah, Pat Douglas thinks it's danger time. He calls timeout as the UC Irvine Anteaters now have their largest deficit of the game. They trail by 14 points. I will break the home run record because I've worked hard for it. I will lead my team and win the World Cup. Together, we can do anything. I will win the championship. Winning is my motivation. The gold medal is mine. The desire is my blood. Go ahead. Cut corners. Forget teams. For me, there is no easy way out. I'll win with my heart. Heart. My heart. Our heart. Building sportsmanship and dreams for 60 years. Every season starts at Dick's Sporting Goods. Okay, guys. American chicks love the foreign accent. Go. You have the thighs of a Sherpa. Say hi. Hi. No, not hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. She has your eyes. <laughs> Watch the master do it, boys. Hello. You are so very sexy. Sorry. I'm with someone. Wood light. Endless refreshment from start to finish. Bud Light keeps it coming. We make sandwich. I am meat. Switch to Valvoline's Max Life. And there's no telling how long your car will keep going. Max Life not only protects against friction, but also leaks, deposits, and sludge. The four major causes of high mileage engine breakdown. Drive it forever. Plug in the first ultra adaptable room from Marriott. We advance in leaps and bounds from generation to generation. At Acura, we help people advance. From where they are to where they could be. Acura. Advance. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Acura. Acura, advance. We are just across the street from Disneyland here at the Anaheim Convention Center. Big West Conference Tournament has been inside this facility all week long. And so far, so good for both Irvine and Fullerton. Irvine winning three games already, including yesterday's semi against UC Santa Barbara to get to the championship. Fullerton they defeated Northridge yesterday to get to today's championship. The difference, Scott Cutley and Fullerton, they've only had to play two games so far. UC Irvine, they've had to play three games in this tournament. And that could be a difference right now as Irvine trails by 14. Pass is intercepted. Ahead of the pack is a Coyan. Another offensive rebound for Cutley. But the whole play was set up by Marcus Morgan, who did a real nice job at reading the pass, looking for fouls, stepped in and picked it off, just like a defensive back. Oh, a little dream shake there. Cutley comes up short on the turnaround. He gave a little shimmy before he put up that turnaround. Yes, he did. You can do that when you're 14 up. You feel real good. Bland gets it inside. Sanders. Finally gets a roll. Strong shot. Patrick Sanders, first team all Big West. He's been quiet. Just four points in the game. He is going to have to step up. Coming off a screen. This is a coin. 
Robinson bounces it off his leg and out of bounds. But McIntosh, outstanding job. Get a hand in, tap it off his leg and out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. This is OnStar. I've received a signal you've been in a crash. I'm contacting emergency services. OnStar reporting a front-end crash on Wakefield Road. Shipping Malibu. Airbags deployed. Injuries reported. Please respond. Emergency services. 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 Em
Trying to get a couple of back quickly. It's Hunter. He is fouled. Well, Sunday night, ESPN has everything you need to know before filling out your bracket on ESPN.com. First at 5 Eastern, find out who is on the bubble. Then at 6 Eastern, Sports Center lets you know the bracket as it is announced. Finally at 7 Eastern, our cast of thousands breaks down the regions and lets you hear from the coaches of teams in the tournament and those left out. Bracketology presented by Staples at 5 and 7. Sports Center sandwiched in between at 6 Eastern tomorrow night, Sunday evening. And a foul called. Is this against Frank Robinson? Definitely against the Titans. It is on Frank Robinson. Sanders got himself a shot opportunity near the top of the key. And the official said he got hit on the arm as the ball came up short. The crowd thought, as did some of the Bulls and players, they were going the other way with a fast break. But the official saw he got hit on the hand. Patrick Sanders hits the second. That makes it a 13-point game. 4-0 run for Irvine after being down by a game worse, 17, a moment ago. Well, they're hanging around, but they've got to get a couple stops, and they've got to clear the glass. Land clears the glass in that opportunity. And they hand it to the freshman, Rembert. A walk-on and a hold up high. <laughs> Kenneth Alexander trying to hold Bland as he goes by. Number 10, Patrick Rembert, who is being asked to run the offense. His first start of the season was Thursday. He was a walk-on. And some of the players said, well, this walk-on thinks he's a regular member of the team. Well, he went up to Patrick Sanders, who was a walk-on four years ago, and he said, big guy, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. I need to learn what I have to do to play on this team. And Sanders took him under his wing, and he's worked his way into the lineup, and he is a real good guard. Fells will go back to the free throw line. See, these last three possessions have been what Irvine wants. Half court, pound away inside, get to the free throw line. This is the championship game of the Big West Conference. You see Irvine, the five seed, against the number three seed, the Titans of Cal State Fullerton. With David Kaplan, I'm Eric Collins. The winner gets a chance to buck history. You see Irvine, they have never been to the NCAA tournament. While Bob Burton's Cal State Fullerton team, they've been to the tournament just once. That was way back in 1978. People are excited in this town that two Orange County teams are playing to go to the NCAA. I was eating breakfast today. My waitress, Kelly, said, I'm a student at Fullerton. We're all getting together to watch the game tonight. They're so excited for the chance to play in the big dance. French Shaw tapped over the backboard with that big meat paw of Scott Cutley. You see Cutley right there barking out instructions, but a bucket here, and you're in single digits. And they try and get it inside. Sanders faces up. He picks it up, Cap. And their crowd is into it. The Irvine bench is up. They've got it down to nine. And they are playing with confidence. It had been a 17-point bulge for the Titans. It's an 8-0 run now for the Anteaters. And a coin gets three wow. back. Wow. What a dagger. Catch, turn. Wow. 18 points now for the junior from Petaluma. It's a tough matchup for Robinson. Sanders shoots over him, fails the rebound, has it stripped away, and he's fouled. Timeout on the floor. When we come back, Darren Fells at the free throw line trying to inch the Anteaters ever closer. Break the home run record because I've worked hard for it. I will lead my team and win the World Cup. Together, we can do anything. I will win the championship. Winning is my motivation. The gold medal is mine. The desire is in my blood. Go ahead. Cut corners. Forget team. For me, there is no easy way out. I'll win with my heart. Heart. My heart. Our heart. Building sportsmanship and dreams for 60 years. Every season starts at Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick Davis, this is OnStar.
I've received a signal you've been in a crash. I'm contacting emergency services. All star reporting a front end crash on Wakefield Road. Chevy Malibu, airbags deployed, injuries reported. Please respond. Ma'am, help is on the way. And I'll stay on the line with you till we get there. Automatic crash response built into 11 Chevy models. You eating enough? You look a little thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a very mom question. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, enough. I miss you, baby. I miss you too. Love you. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> we tell everyone about the relief work you're doing, you know? Of course you do. Welcome to a network I that's bringing countries oh, and families a little closer. It's been a while. Cisco, welcome to the human network. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. And in part by OnStar by GM. To learn more, visit OnStar.com. Disneyland, just across the street from the Anaheim Convention Center. Anaheim Convention Center, the site of the Big West Conference Tournament. And the Big West this year, look at the bottleneck they had at the top of the conference, Santa Barbara. Northridge and Fullerton all tied atop the conference at 12 and 4. Now that's a big deal because the top two teams in the conference got buys all the way to the semis. With the tiebreaker, Cal State Fulton finished third. That meant they had to play in the quarterfinal round. No big deal. They knocked off Riverside, but they had to play an extra game that Santa Barbara and Northridge did not have to, and they both lost in their semifinal round. Right. Some of the coaches will tell you, you know what? I don't know if I want to play four in four days, but to have to play that extra game, you get the jitters out quickly, and you may be playing an opponent that doesn't have a great record, so you get a chance to probably get a win and then get to the semis, and you've already gotten your jitters out. For the other two who both lost, that was their first turn in the game, and they're gone. Top two seeds, neither of them winning a game in the Big West Tournament. Well, one of the things keeping Pat Douglas' team in this ever so slightly is their free throw shooting. 14 of 16 as a club. Anything less than that, and they'd be buried. Cutley with the floater. The big fellas got game. Well, Fells came out to try and chase, a, chase Josh Akoyan because he could put that ball up from anywhere, and Cutley rolled right to the basket, didn't have a shot blocker there, and made the easy eight-footer. <laughs> Sanders working on the perimeter against Robinson. Now backs up, fade away. And here come the Titans on the run out. Secondary break, and Cutley didn't like his odds. It's a smart decision. That's a veteran decision. You throw it to him, what's he going to do with it? And he says, I, I can't get a shot off from here. Let's just recycle and get it back out top. Robinson likes his shot there. Land the rebound. UC Irvine, they're 0-9 on the season when they give up 70 points to an opponent. They like to keep it at 50. It's not going to happen today. And Sanders comes up short, offensive rebound, Hunter. Tough possession there for Andy. Two bad shot opportunities, especially Sanders. He's got to get more active around the basket. A coin, how about that? Rim glass rimming in wow. from 25 feet. Wow. He's hit two just ridiculous threes. You can tell there are no restrictions on Josh Coyan. He is allowed to do whatever he wants. He's allowed to shoot from wherever he wants, and he gets it done. Three celebrity chefs in three days. Well, you could write a thesis on gourmet delights. And yet, what exactly does it say that you've developed a taste for such exotic delicacies? At least to those back home. People might begin to wonder what else you've developed a taste for in this Epicurean fantasy land. Hey, cuisine curator. Your Vegas is showing. Cal State Fullerton up by 16 points, 6-13 remaining. Well, a 
programming note, due to events in Atlanta at the SEC tournament, the SEC championship game between Arkansas and Georgia, when I'll be broadcast on ESPN2, Sunday at 3.30 Eastern time. Those in the competing team markets will be able to see the game on their local CBS stations. What a crazy situation down at the Georgia Dome last night. That was. It was scary. I was up late watching the news. And to see what it did to downtown Atlanta, very scary situation. And how strange was it to watch the games this afternoon played in an arena that was three-quarters empty. Right. There were family and a few friends in there, and that was it. And our prayers go out to anybody affected by that. Jump shot off the mark, and things really looking bleak right now for Irvine. And you're going to have to suck it up and figure something out. Cutley, good passer for a big man. Over to a coin. You see, even with a 16-point lead, that shot goes up with 20-plus on the shot clock. That's a third charge on Rembert. So the ball goes back over to Fullerton, and the freshman makes a freshman mistake. That's going to happen. He's trying to make a play, trying to get something going, but watch this. Morgan, who loves to step up, take the hit, does it again. Slides over, gets set, bam. Rembert's playing fantastic basketball late in the year, but there aren't too many teams that go to the NCAA tournament riding a 19-year-old walk-on freshman point guard. Correct. And that is not a shot at him. It's just a statement of fact. Most of the teams that get to the big dance are led by veteran guards. There's a veteran guard. Ray Reed is a senior. He has had a solid day in the backcourt alongside Joshua Coyne, who's a junior. Totley, does he see the man behind him? No, he doesn't. He's stripped. Good defense played by Fells. And a timeout called by the Titans when they get the ball back. And look at the hustle play. Marcus Morgan goes on the floor, rips the ball away, and calls timeout. And that, we just saw him take a charge. He leaves it all out there. He's not a big scorer, Marcus Morgan, just six points a game, but he will give you everything he's got at both ends of the court. You're trying to tell me he's a glue guy? He's a glue guy. That timeout called by Fullerton. They still have three remaining. Look at these passes already today, Jeff. Cutley's an outstanding interior passer. He knows his team is going to win when they defend and rebound, and he is a huge part of that. But also, he's the focal point of what the other team's trying to stop. He's so tough, conference goal player of the year, and so when he draws a double team, he knows how to find the cutter or the open man like a coin on the perimeter. Reed is fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Reed is just so quick. He's a prototypical guard. If you were sitting down in the Fullerton basketball office and said, okay, let's recruit a prototypical guy to run our show, he's the guy because of his ability to push the tempo and get it down the court. Okay, then we've got to go find somebody that can make shots, whether it be pull up on the break or in ball reversal. Let's go get a guy like Josh Acoin. All right, we need a big guy inside. Let's go get Scott Cutley. All right, we need a glue guy. Marcus Morgan is your guy. So there's a number of players that fit into what they try to do. Got that last ball on Patrick Rembert. Rembert now with four personal fouls. He's gone to the bench. Placed by Lauer. And Robinson would be another glue guy who can make shots, but they do everything. You see him guarding Sanders, so he'll guard a big guy. He's athletic. He'll push the tempo in transition. Getting inside. Hunter gets a couple of back. Under five remaining. The Titans trying to go to the tournament for the first time since 1978. And an offensive rebound once again for the big fella, Scott Cutley, the co-player of the year in the Big West. Boards have just belonged to the Titans. Robinson is tripped. He'll go to the free throw line. 
Bell Fells rotated over, gave some help. But probably someone should have stepped up and tried to take a charge there as Robinson rolled to the basket. So Frank Robinson, senior from Los Angeles, will shoot two. He was named the conference's defensive player of the year. That's the ultimate blue guy. Darren Fells now with three fouls. They're going to have to keep him in the game. They need uh, all hands on deck to the Anteaters of Irvine. by a coin he's a shooter he's in there to try and make jump shots nearly a five second call Sanders wow good save extra possession now for Irvine and a foul is called on Frank Robinson his fourth four fouls now on Frank Robinson that's about the only thing not going right for Fullerton time out on the floor This is OnStar. I've received a signal you've been in a crash. I'm contacting emergency services. OnStar reporting a front-end crash on Wakefield Road. Jeff Malibu, airbags deployed, injuries reported. Ma'am, help is on the way. And I'll stay on the line with you till we get there. Automatic crash response built into 11 Chevy models. I'm excited about these cine snacks, Yeah, huh? they look really good. Here, why don't you hold the icing? Okay, and then and you that way dip I it. can just sort of dip it. Okay, and then you mm. hold the icing. That is really good. Yeah, but now you take... Mm. Oh! I don't know what <laughs> the gesture mm. means. Take it. Cine snacks new at Sonic. All the sweet, gooey goodness of a cinnamon roll in a warm, bite-sized snack served with icing. And perfect anytime with a premium roast iced or hot latte. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Moving day is here, the most dreaded of days. Packing, unpacking, your mind in a haze. DirecTV knows how stressful moving can be, so we make keeping your entertainment both easy and free. For uninterrupted service of the shows you like best, just leave the dish behind and we'll handle the rest. Simply dial 877-616-MOVE and we'll throw in three months of stars and showtime for free. Getting more out of your DirecTV just got a whole lot easier. More style. More action. More family fun. Great tunes. More movie madness. Choice extra from DirecTV. Over 30 extra channels for as low as five bucks more per month. Upgrade today. Go to DirecTV.com or call 1-800-531-5000. Here at the Big West Tournament, it's not just the players getting after it, it's the mascots getting after it. This was Thursday. They had a competition between the mascots from every school in the Big West, and who do you think was the winner? Got to be the Anteater. Got to be. The Anteater of UC Irvine, the top mascot, beating out the, the elephant, the Titan mascot for Cal State Fullerton. But listen to this. When they came up with the nickname of Titans, Back in 1963, they wanted to come up with a mascot. This is a Cal State Fullerton. And they came up with the Elephants. But the second choice, if they hadn't called themselves the Elephants, or had had Elephant as their mascot, they would have been the Aardvarks. That came in second. So theoretically, we could have had the Aardvarks against the Anteaters playing for a trip to the Big Dance. And I'm sure there are people out there saying, wait a minute, if they're the Titans, how do you get Elephant for a mascot? Well. A group of students came up with a practical joke, and they got word to people all over that there was the first ever elephant race being held at the Dumbo Downs on their campus. It was a practical joke. 10,000 people showed up to see the elephant race. They said, we better find some elephants. They got a bunch of elephants, had a race, and that's how they adopted the mascot, the elephant for the Titans. That is fantastic. Fantastic stuff. And a pass thrown out of bounds. Crenshaw. Air mails are trying to get it to Robinson. Bob Burton says, guys, think. We've got a 16-point lead. What are you doing? 
Quickly the other way. McIntosh gets inside. Looks like he didn't know if he wanted to throw it right-handed or left-handed. Right, try to finger roll. Now that we're talking about Cal State Fulton, some of their history, I'm sure somewhere tonight, Kevin Costner is smiling. One of the most famous alums. Absolutely. They've had some tremendous State Fulton. baseball players come out of there. Cal State Fullerton, a big-time baseball program. I'm sure Leon Wood would say it's a big-time basketball program. Leon Wood played basketball for the Titans, played basketball for Team USA, 84 Olympics, played now in the NBA, NBA ref. Now a referee in the NBA. And in 1995, baseball national champs led by Jeremy Giambi, Jason's brother, the other, and Mark Kotze. Where baseball hats. They're always thinking baseball here. Fullerton. I, I told you I was out around town today and everybody had their hats on for either Irvine or Fullerton. They were so fired up for the game. Lead back up to 18. Coming up on the three minute mark. Bells. He has really been the only offense for Irvine. As the timeout is called, that means that Irvine, they have just one timeout remaining. Fullerton, they still have three timeouts on their ledger. ESPN's coverage of championship week continues Sunday afternoon with a couple of championship games. First at 1 Eastern time, Clemson taking on North Carolina in the ACC championship. Clemson has never won the ACC championship. The championship was the Southern Conference championship. Then at 3 Eastern, it's Texas and Kansas in the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship. Take a look at the numbers. North Carolina, they have a chance to break that deadlock with Duke for the most ACC tournament championships. That's a lot. Considering that Clemson, they've been pretty darn good for the most part in their career, or in the, the history of the school. They usually have good teams at Clemson. Always. But they're not on that list at all. Isn't that amazing? And they've had good teams. Back on the road, dominate. It's the best time of the year on the sports calendar to me. Weather's starting to turn for people in the east and the midwest. You have the golf season for a lot of people right around the corner. Baseball opening day, and the most important part of it all, March Madness. To me, there's nothing like it. To see the unbridled joy, people swarming the floor, getting a chance to see their school call tomorrow and say, you're headed to this region and you're playing this team, and then coaches everywhere scrambling to get tapes and scouting reports. It's what it's all about. Okay, I'm not going to put the cart before the horse, but if we want to go there, 304 remaining, should Fullerton hold on and win this game? Who do they match up? What's the type of team where they would match up well against and have a good chance to advance a round or two? I think if they go up against a team that plays a similar style, this is a veteran team. I mean, senior-laden team with a guy like Cutley who's very physical. Where they'll have problems is if they have to run into a team with a legit NBA-caliber seven-foot guy down there that also plays at a fast pace. But if they're at a similar type team that likes to go up-tempo, could score in the 75-point range, they can beat anybody. Fullerton, they have not been to the NCAA tournament since 1978. I really believe that they will be a very tough match for somebody. Because they make shots and they have what you call glue guys. The Robinsons, the Morgans, guys who will leave their heart and soul on the floor and understand there are three other guys that are going to get the bulk of the scoring opportunities. And the folks here are thrilled because they're doing it basically on their home turf. A lot of people call Cal State Fullerton Cal State Disneyland because it's just eight miles to the north of us. Just right down the road, truly. You see Irvine not too much further away. They're just 15 miles to the southwest of here. But Two Orange County teams getting a chance to play here in Orange County with something significant on the line. Marcio Lassiter inside to Cutley, and Cutley is fouled by Bland. Opportunity for a three-point play. Yep, they've blown it open. 17, potentially 18 here. Cutley's just too tough, and they do a very good job handling pressure and then throw right over the top of it 
There's Bland from behind. And tries in vain to get the stop right there. Bangs into Cutley, grabs him. But sorry. Didn't mean to knock in here, but it is what it is. That guy is just very tough to stop. 21 points for Cutley, 8 of 13 from the field. That's his one problem in terms of free throw shooting. He just struggles. Not tonight. Tonight he's making his shots, but normally right around 6, 59, 60%. He struggles. Well, right about now, it would take a titanic collapse for the Titans not to win their first Big West tournament in 30 years. Patrick Sanders not giving up for the Anteaters. Robinson, the chin up. Beat pressure and take it right to the goal to score. Don't just take it across the timeline. Continue to play your game, and that's exactly what they did. McIntosh, the high arbor. And now they're just going to follow and try and stop the clock. They grab Morgan. And they grabbed the right guy. Morgan, just a 53% free thrower. Tough situation for Pat Douglas. He has no more timeouts to communicate what he'd like to communicate to his team. Sunday night, ESPN has everything you need to know before filling out your bracket. First at 5 Eastern, find out who's on the bubble. That's ESPNU Bracketology. Then at 6, it's Sports Center. We'll let you know what the bracket looks like as it's announced. Then at 7 more, ESPNU Bracketology has a cast of thousands to break down the regions and let you hear from the coaches of the teams that are in and the coaches who are not in. Jump shot, Lawler spins out. They stay with the Anteaters. Robinson and Cutley both going for the ball. Robinson says, sorry, big guy, that's yours. Under two minutes to play. Well, a great run will come to an end for Irvine. Northridge tried to pull this feat off a few years ago, win four games in four days, and lost by three to Pacific. That's, it's, it's a tough task, but the tough part was they were going up against a really good veteran club in Cal State Fullerton. Very talented. Well, a huge no-no. Michael Hunter is fouled while shooting a three. Ray Reed, who should have known better, the senior, fouls him, and we're going to stop the clock and have three free throws for Hunter. And Bob Burton just perplexed. Always coaching. That's what coaches do. They're going to be up 15 with five seconds. They're always coaching. And now we're going to make sure that that was behind the line. The officials have gone over to the scores table, and they're going to look at a monitor. And they have determined that it is indeed three free throws. Yep, they got that one exactly right. Well, Irvine, they're not exactly buried. If Hunter hits all three of these, just throwing it out there. The game before us went to three overtimes. Anything can happen, Cat. <laughs> this is true. But you got to hit your free throw. ahead to the NCAA tournament and let's put Fullerton there. There are teams around the country that are watching this game right now saying, I don't really want to get that team in the first round. What are we talking about in terms of seeding for Bob Burton's team? It's not going to be an exceptionally high seed. I think you're probably looking at a, being in a 4-13 game, 12-5 game, right in that range. Probably a 4-13 game is what I'm guessing. But every year there's a 4-13 upset. A 3-14 upset. We've seen those happen. This team with veteran players. I mean, you look at this club and you go, well, they got the Conference Co-Player of the Year who's an absolute hoss down low. 
They got a guard in a coin who can knock down shots. They got a guy in Reed who handles the ball. They play several guys so they can go deep. They got guards. They have some other size. The only thing they're missing is a legit 6'9 post player. But the right matchup for them, they could advance. Well, this is what Joey Brackett has to say. His last four in as we speak, Arizona, St. Joe's, tough loss today for St. Joe's, Illinois State, and the Ohio State Buckeyes. His last four out, Virginia Tech, UMass, Villanova, and Arizona State. And we should say that Joe Lenardi is generally playing chess when everyone else is playing checkers when it comes to the tournament. He knows what he's talking about. He's the best. And I look at those, and I, Arizona State people say, well, he beat Arizona twice. You know what? Arizona played the toughest schedule in the country. They dealt with a lot of injuries. I think Arizona is a definite for the field of 65. Ball poked out of bounds over to Irvine. Bob Burton just wants to get out of Dodge. That's all he's saying is, guys, just get this over. And he will take the tape and show his guys, look, down the stretch, we had a big lead. What are you guys doing throwing the ball over the gym? Sanders comes up empty. McIntosh runs down the loop ball. Lauer off the window. And it's now an 11-point game. You laughed at me about 30 seconds ago. But this game is not, it's not etched in stone just right now. No, the game is never over. They haven't engraved the trophy yet. Until the fat lady sings. There's a look at Bob Burton. Cal State Fulton there in the double bonus. Every time they get fouled the rest of the way, they'll have two free throws. And a coin, a sensational free throw. I told you I'm reading the Orange County Register today, and his quote was, I always think we're going to lose. No matter what situation, I always think we're going to lose. He's just the gloom and doom guy who looks like he's headed to the NCAA tournament. That's just his personality. He handed him a gold brick, and he says it's too heavy. That's exactly right. A coin now with 23 points. Loses the handle, picks it up. Line drive jumper goes in. And by him losing the handle, it cleared him for the shot, but it's going to lead to Morgan dunk. A chin up. Marcus Morgan, solid offensive game. He's in double figures. Got a double double now. <laughs> Irvine not giving up one bit. And the ball goes over to the Titans. No quit. You're exactly right in the Anteaters. They have played their heart out. And here's Dunk again. Now someone forgot about Robinson, and that'll just about do it. Robinson is fouled by Sanders. An opportunity for a three-point play. The lead's up to 14, quite possibly 15, after the freebie. And Sanders hangs his head. And they're disappointed, but they have nothing to be ashamed about. Irvine has played a whale of a tournament. And Cap, you talked about it. Pat Douglas did not want to see Cal State Fullerton in the 80s. They're at 80 right now, and it's all but a done deal. Yeah, their average is 82.7, so they wanted to be close to that. They said anything over 70 is at our tempo. And now they've got it at 81. So that's right where they want this game. And that's where they're going to want their NCAA game, no matter who they match up with, because that's where they're most comfortable. Well, what a tremendous tournament played by the Cal State Fullerton Titans. They have to play in the quarters against UC Riverside. They knock off the number two seed in Cal State Northridge. And now they flex some serious muscle, and they knock off the Anteaters of UC Irvine, and they're going to go to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 30 years. The students are Hold coming onto on the court, but the game is not over because his shot hit the shot clock, so there's officially 3.1 seconds left. 
Congratulations to Bob Burton and all the Titans. They played well from the moment that ball was tipped off today, Cap. They did. They executed their game plan to perfection. They earned the Big West Championship. They are very deserving. That may be the first time we've seen him smile all week long, but it's got to feel good. They're ODing on the Fullerton Titans here in the OC. It's been a generation since the Titans have been able to do this. Not since 1978 have they gone to the big dance. So that'll do it from Anaheim, California. We tip our cap to the Cal State Fullerton Titans as they go off to the NCAA tournament. Our final score, 81-66. The Titans knock off the Anteaters. Coming up next, the AC Delco NHRA Gator National Qualifying. For my partner, David Kaplan, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Eric Collins, stand so long. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. This telecast is available on ESPN 2 HD, presented by Olivia. Spring break time in Florida means the Gator Nationals in Gainesville. This race is huge and historic. It rained in the Sunshine State yesterday. Suspension without pay.